Good evening. Selamat petang. Tajia Wan San Hao, Vanakam. Let me say a few words in Malay first before I proceed with my English speech. Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, izinkan saya bermula dengan mengucapkan selamat Hari Kebangsaan dan selamat Hari Raya Aidilfitri. Berkekalkan modal yang dinamakan tekad, usaha bersepadu dan kegigihan, masyarakat Melayu Islam kita kini sudah banyak mengecap kemajuan, sejajar dengan kemakmuran negara. Ramai anak Melayu kita menjulang kejayaan cemerlang dalam pendidikan. Semakin ramai anggota masyarakat kita juga mendapat pekerjaan dan pendapatan yang baik. Sebagai contoh, pencapaian Adil Hakim Muhammad Rafi, pemenang Biasiswa Presiden iaitu biasiswa paling tinggi di negara ini membuktikan masyarakat kita sama pandai, sama berkebolehan dan sama berbakat sebagaimana orang lain. Kejayaan adil juga menunjukkan betapa anak-anak Melayu Islam semakin yakin untuk mencapai kejayaan peringkat tinggi dalam bidang masing-masing. Namun, sedang masyarakat kita bergerak maju, dunia turut pesat berubah. Perubahan ini didorong oleh kemajuan teknologi dan persaingan hebat antara negara. Perubahan sejagat ini juga menjejas Singapura dan seterusnya masyarakat kita. Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, saya percaya kita perlu bersedia dan mendorong diri kita supaya lebih cemerlang dalam tiga P, iaitu pendidikan, pekerjaan dan perhubungan keluarga. Hakikatnya, memang kita sudah moden dan maju, tetapi kita belum lagi memenuhi potensi kita yang sebenar. Walhal, masyarakat kita mempunyai banyak kekuatan. Misalnya, sebagai sebuah masyarakat, kita mempunyai daya kreativiti yang tinggi yang diperlukan dalam sektor-sektor perhubungan IT dan fashion. Anda pasti kenal dengan pereka fashion Ashley Isham. Beliau pereka terkenal di London. Ashley menyediakan pakaian mewah untuk wanita-wanita ternama. Membuktikan kita juga mampu bersaing di persada antarabangsa. Satu lagi modal kita ialah kita mempunyai ramai tenaga muda. Kita mesti menarik dan membangun potensi belia kita. Kenapa? Kerana mereka boleh mainkan peranan yang lebih penting lagi untuk membina masyarakat kita. Kesimpulannya, untuk terus maju, semua pihak dalam masyarakat kita perlu ada tekad, ada kesungguhan dan ada komitmen untuk memperkasa jati diri masyarakat kita. Kita perlu beri sepenuh perhatian dan jangan jemu-jemu bekerja keras demi kebaikan semua. Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, saya yakin di bawah sistem meritokrasi dan bermodalkan usaha gigi kita, masyarakat Melayu Islam mampu mendaki tangga kejayaan yang jauh lebih tinggi. Terima kasih. Let me now proceed with my speech in English. <laughs> Fellow Singaporeans, every year on National Day, I ask myself what it means to be a Singaporean. Is this a place where we only recognize the successful and the rich, or do we give opportunities for every man and every woman? Do we give people second chances, or do we write them off as failures just because they take the road less traveled? 
Singapore has not departed from the principles upon which it was founded. It continues to give opportunities to everyone, provided they are prepared to work hard. Take Ms. Chong Hui Sien, my resident in Bukit Bato East, who studied at a neighborhood school, the Yusuf Ishaq Secondary School. She had scored only 151 points for her PSLE and was posted to the normal technical stream. She then proceeded to ITE College East and then to Ni An Polytechnic. She did well, won prestigious awards, and got into NTU to do accountancy. In her third year at NTU now, she will soon be starting lessons at Sean Hoping University in Sweden on a five-month attachment program. Hui Xian has been actively involved in community service so as to give back to society. I am indeed very proud of Hui Xian. Fellow Singaporeans, we were poor when we became independent in 1965. Many of us remember the muddy roads, the rickety buses, we used to call them bone shakers, and the chalky blackboards in the classroom. After independence, Singapore did many things that others had not even dreamt of doing. We welcome foreign in investments. For instance, while others shunned them for nationalist reasons, we dreamt big. We gave people hope. We built a remarkable society. Still, 47 years since independence, we face many challenges. We have to continue dreaming big, give people hope, build an even more inclusive and remarkable society. We have to ensure that a widening income gap does not make it harder for able but poor people to do well. The Prime Minister, in his National Day message, spoke of a fair and just society with opportunities for all, an inclusive society with a heart. Our meritocratic system must provide opportunities for all, regardless of their background, to pursue their dreams. Every Singaporean must get the proper education and training to succeed. Every talent, not just the purely academic, must be nurtured. We must also help those who, due to personal circumstances or through no fault of their own, are unable to help themselves. Maintaining social mobility in a mature economy will be a challenge. But we must persevere to help low-income families. Failure to do so will lead to social segregation and instability. Once on a public holiday, I took a taxi to an event. The taxi driver told me that his goal was to make sure that his two sons got into university because he wanted them to have a better life. He worked hard and he spent a significant portion of his income that he shared with me to provide tuition to his two sons. He had missed the boat himself, but was determined that his sons would not. In the year I have been at MCYS, I have visited many VWOs. I have been inspired by their dedication. They have kept hope alive among the most disadvantaged of families. I have met many of the families too, and I am inspired by their tenacity. We tend to think the needy are helpless, and we must help to solve all their problems. We are wrong. Sometimes we can do more harm than good by not respecting their desire for dignity. For example, I know an old lady who collects old newspapers in my constituency. I had asked my RC umpteen times to ask her whether she needed financial help, and her answer was always no. I had personally asked her also, Auntie, would you need some help? Of course, in the you know, colloquial Malay language and a little bit of uh, you know, Hokkien. And her answer was still an emphatic no. I have learned to respect her wishes and her desire for pride and control over her own life. But for those who need help, 
we are committed to doing more for them. We will continue to improve our approaches, for not all are able to access the opportunities available. Some families need dedicated support and intervention. We are putting in more resources to strengthen our social services sector. But the government cannot walk alone in doing this. It needs to partner social service agencies to better understand the needs of poor families and develop relevant services for them. We also need community support, particularly among our youth. You may have heard of Food Bank Singapore, a not-for-profit organization started by a brother and sister team, 33-year-old uh, Nicholas and 34-year-old Nicole Ng. Food Bank links people in need with companies and individuals with excess food to give away. Caring Singaporeans looking out for one another is the most powerful individual expression of the values of our nation. Let me conclude, fellow Singaporeans, by sharing with you the story of 27-year-old Norul Shika Muhammad Taha. Norul was born with spinal muscular atrophy, and she is one of our Paralympians. She is one of the best boccia players in the world. In case you're wondering what is boccia, boccia is a form of a lawn bowling. She has won several awards, including coming in first at the 2011 National Disability League. Norul has also excelled in her studies. She studied at Raffles Girls School, and then she went on to National Junior College, graduating with a Bachelor of Accountancy degree from SMU. She is now working in IRAS. Norul and Hui Xian represent the true Singapore spirit that we must value, nurture, and grow. Fellow Singaporeans, we have a compelling vision to build a democratic society based on justice and equality, as our pledge says. But to better achieve this vision, everyone has to play a part. None of us is a passive bystander None of us can be a mere spectator. We are all co-creators of our common future. Thank you. Let me wish everyone a very happy National Day. Selamat Hari Kebangsaan. Kuo Ching Chie Kuai Le. Desia Dinal Valtakal. Thank you.